in today's video i'm going to kill the lies about protective styling we're going to talk everything you need to know about protective styling if you want to watch this and help me kill these lies together then keep on watching Ak, let's go I want you to know the real reason why people do protective styling and what is the main reason why you need to put that protective styling in. Whilst you know these two things, you won't be confused about protective styling. So let's stop and kill those lies about protective styles. Hello lovelies, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, you have clicked on the right one. You have clicked on the right video, you guys. Actually, let me try to switch off my port. Going to give a disclaimer out there because this video is not gonna find you well if you are those people who like to come in the comment section and <sighs> well, let me just give a disclaimer Jared. disclaimer here is that protective styles are not for everyone other people can grow their hair without protective styling and their hair grow exceptionally well others grow their hair in protective styling don't like their hair out they just love to put their hair in a protective style and they grow their hair better in protective style. So when I'm coming here on YouTube talking about stopping the lies about protective styles, this is the disclaimer first that I'm going to put out there because protective styles are not for everyone. Either is leaving your hair out good for everyone. Do something for me. Comment down below. If you are a protective styling girl, I want to know whether you do more protective styling or you wear your hair out let me know in the comment section below let's get right into it what is a protective style because we have had so many definitions on what a protective style is now most people say well protective styles are putting your ends away or tucking your ends away Okay, that's another definition that other people say protective style is. Other people say protective style is putting your hair in a bun. When your hair is out, put it in a bun and that's a protective style. What are you talking about, sis? That's why we're going to kill the lies of protective styling. So to me, that's why I said here on YouTube, you are going to be watching different people. Someone is going to come with a different opinion on what they think a protective style is. So you have to come on YouTube knowing already what protective style is to you. If you are coming on YouTube, you're coming to learn different people, different backgrounds, different cultures, everything. You are just learning different things from different people. So I want you to take this with a grain of salt. I'm not saying everything I'm saying you need to do it, but take it and consider it first. Think about it first before you actually take it and actually do it, right? Protect the style to me. It's a style that will last you more than a month going forward now i don't believe that a bun putting your hair in a bun at the back can actually be a protective stuff to me this is personal now child this is personal yeah it's personal to me i don't believe a protective style can be a style that I have right now, leaving my head down. Others define protective style as you don't touch it. If you just put your hair like this, you don't touch it. That's a protective style. To me, that is not a protective style. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Uh, let me know, okay? Am I talking sense here? Let me know in the comment section. What do you define a protective style? Because we have heard a lot of things from people. Protective style is when you do cornrows. Protective style is when you do braids. Protective style is when you put your hair in a bun. Protective style is leaving your hair alone. What is a protective style? Simple. What is it? Jared. 
<laughs> that's what i'm talking about right now that's why we're killing the lies about protective stuff a protective stuff it's a style that keeps you from touching your hair full stop do you understand a protective style is a style that keeps your hands from your head full stop now what i mean by that i mean by saying if you put cornrows in okay you are not going to be doing anything to those cornrows your hair is already in a protective style so it's left alone that's what i call a protective style if you put braids in your hair you are leaving those braids okay and you're not undoing it combing it again and it's just there for a certain amount of time that is a protective style to me now definitions as i've said can be a little bit different with different people but that's what i consider a protective style now putting your hair in a bun okay and tucking your ends inside i don't call that a protective style because your hair your hair is still out it's not like plated or anything i don't call that a protective style and don't come for me in the comment section below because i'll come for you too come for each ad you get it <laughs> i have said it's a disclaimer you guys this is what i personally believe now did you know that we are doing too much to our hair the reason why i'm saying this is because maybe you do your hair once every week right your hair is out but throughout the week you're not touching your hair okay but you are doing your hair every once a week every time when you're touching your hair that's manipulation you're manipulating your hair okay maybe at people you're combing when you're washing you're combing when you're deep conditioning you're combing when you are styling and then when you are about to put maybe anything you're putting you are that is too much manipulation now if you're doing your hair four times in a month that's four times of manipulation in just one month if you're going to be growing half an inch in one month then how are you going to grow that hair when you are doing your hair every once a week combing 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 let me know even if you're not touching your hair throughout the week but you are doing your hair every once a week when your all your hair is out and you are just combing four times in a month how are you going to be retaining that half an inch a month tell me that somebody Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> you see what i'm saying now natural hair our type of hair okay it needs less manipulation that's why i am doing a challenge of keeping my braids for nine months without takedown because all this time that i should be taking it out or all this time that i should be coming out my hair i'm actually not doing that i'm lessening the amount of times i'm touching the actual strands of my hair do you get what i'm saying growing hair i think i actually do series on length retention so that you really understand why we do protective styles why we try to encourage you guys not to be in your hair all the time this is the reason why if you are growing half an inch a month and you are touching your hair four times in a month, how many inches are you going to retain in that one month? Tell me somebody. Mm -hmm. That is why you need to really sit down and think about what a protective style is. If you think a protective style is just leaving your hair like this and then you go out there you go to work, your hair is just rubbing on your t-shirt and it's a, you're not touching it. Mm -mm, you're not touching it, Jared. You're just leaving it like this. When you come home, you put your hair in a bun, you put your silk bonnet and then you call it a day. You don't touch it. You do your hair once that week, okay? You are combing your hair. Now, listen, when you touch your hair or when you comb it, there is going to be hair that snaps off. I don't care how careful you are. 
Our hair likes to tangle. Even if you're careful, there's going to be hair that comes out. Breakage. You understand? So, lessening the amount of times your hair is out or your hair is just rubbing against your t-shirt, that is going to help you to retain the growth that is going out from your scalp. That's what I want you to know about protective style. Protective style to me is keeping your hair plated in an actual protective style. Now, protective style, I say maybe mini twist with your own hair, not with added hair. Braids with your own hair, twist with your own hair, cornrows with your own hair. Those kind of protective style, you have them for about two months, three months, and you are not actually touching when I say touching, I mean actually the strands of hair out like this. When your hair is in a protective style, there's less chances there's any tangles or any breakage or nothing. Then you keep that in one month, two months, three months. When you take that, that's why you see that when you take down a long-term protective style, you have more growth. Am I talking sense, somebody? Am I talking sense? Okay. Comment below if I'm talking sense. I really want you to understand why you are not retaining land. Why? You've been massaging your scalp. You've been eating healthy. You are doing your hair every single week, every once a week. Why is your hair not growing? Chard. Why? 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 Hmm? It's because of this. So I'm just killing all the lies about protective styles. Now, as I've said, this is a disclaimer. Other people grow their hair without doing protective style, which is good for them. But if you really want to know what a protective style is and why you're not retaining length, is because you're doing too much. Manipulation is the number one enemy for length retention. If you want to see people that have grown their hair massively long, it's because they do less to their hair. Their hair is in a protective style for longer and actually gives your hair time to grow without you trying to get in there and comb and do this. It's not going to work like that. Do you understand? Thank you for watching once again. I also want to give a big shout out to my members. Thank you so much, guys, for being members. I appreciate you. If you also want to become a member, I would also request you to join in the link below and become our superlative member. If you liked, if you haven't liked, I don't know what you're waiting for. You have to like that video, comment below, all those good, good things. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one and bye for now.